Hey YouTube, this is Bernie with Dry Creek Homestead. So today we got a new tractor. Uh, it's brand spanking new. It's got three hours on it. So our old tractor burned up. Uh, so we got this one. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit short video of it here. So sorry about the highway noise here. So this is a John Deere 5055. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, the dealer was pretty good with it. Uh, it did take them a while to get the tractor to us. Um, it was down in Enos, Texas. Uh, so it took them a while to get it here to us. So, but as you can see, I got a bucket and bale spears for it. That's really why we wanted it. A new tractor was with the, for the loader um, but anyway so yeah we're pretty happy uh, it's just a small tractor it comes with a five foot bro or a six foot bush hog on it little uh, mx6 bush hog so but yeah uh, it, it ought to work pretty nice for what we need it to do uh, let me turn the camera back all right, so uh, a little bit of trouble we had. So banks do not, we were originally gonna get a used tractor, but banks do not like to finance tractors that are over a certain age. So this one is new, so it's got the, it doesn't have def on it, but it does have a regen system on it. And I was trying to avoid that altogether, <laughs> but you have to go over uh, 10 years old in a tractor that, uh, get one without the emission stuff on it well banks don't like to finance those and nowadays with the way everything is uh, they're hard to buy with just cash because they're more sought after because they do not have the regen systems on them so so you know it's uh it's kind of crazy the used tractors nowadays where so I bought a John Deere 4440 back in 2014 and that's a 140 horse tractor and uh, when I bought it it was $14,000 now today that same tractor in 2023 is going from anywhere between 30 and $45,000 so <clears throat> used tractor prices have just gotten stupid and like I said banks don't want to finance them over 10 years old so it, it was at least the banks in, the, in our area we went to three different banks and ones that we have relationships with and they said no we don't want to do that because tractors over 10 years old uh, we'll finance you a new one all day long but we just don't want to do one over over what you're looking for and so we ended up buying this one now i did get a fairly good deal on it because it was a 2022 model and it had been sitting on their lot for over a year. Uh, fortunately, they did replace the seat because the seat was a little sun cracked. But uh, other than that, you know, it's in pretty good shape. The paint's in good shape. It's not sun faded. So, but yeah, so hopefully this will, uh, hopefully this will take care of us and I won't have to buy another new one while I'm still alive. So, because <laughs> they're not cheap. So anyway, but yeah, that's that's the problem uh, too with the older tractors, and maybe that goes into some of what they <clears throat> don't want to finance. The one that we had that burnt and caught fire still runs and would still be usable, but I can't get parts for it. They quit making parts for them, and you can't even get the parts aftermarket. So uh, it's replacing an old Massey Ferguson is what it, this one's replacing. And so, but anyway, so it is what it is, and and. Uh, just part of the crazy world we live in where you can't finance an old tractor and you can't get parts for them so what do you do so anyway well if you liked the video please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one see you later bye